morning, there's a very interesting midrash in Pirkei Rebili Eizel that says that after Am Yisrael sinned by Cheta Egel, uh, the women were fighting back. They didn't let their husbands freely take their jewelry. The women said, no, we're not going to let you donate our jewelry to Abu Dazara. And because of that, the women were zuche, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave them Ba'olam Azeh, their sachar, their reward was to celebrate Rashi Chodashim, even more than men. And in Olam Abba, it says that their sachar is that they're going to be mitchadesh kanesha, they're going to be rejuvenated like eagles. That was the special sachar that women were given for uh, for not having sinned in Chita. Again, they got Rosh Chodesh. The Tur, Rabbi Yaakov Ba'al Turim, quotes his brother, Rabbi Yehuda, which says a different reason. He says the Shlosh Galim. The Shalosh Galim, the Pesach Shavuot and Sukkot, are connected, and they correspond to uh, Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov. And the 12 Rosh Chodashim during the year are also Yamim Tovim that correspond towards the 12 Shvatim. What happened was, when Am Yisrael sinned by Chet Ha'egel, the 12 Rosh Chodashim were taken away from Am Yisrael and given specifically to Nashim, were given specifically to women. So this is a very special day for them. There's a minhag that many poskim bring down, that on Rosh Chodesh, in order to celebrate this Yom Tov that they were given, some women have the minhag not to do melacha. Now again, it's not a halacha, it's a minhag. Uh, the vast majority of women do melacha on Rosh Chodesh, but it is a special day for women. Uh, nevertheless, Maran Zechon brings down in Chazon Ovadia that even women who have such a minhag not to do melacha on Rosh Chodesh, it's only manual melacha. For instance, sewing, weaving, uh, laundry by hand and things like that, things that are tircha, but things that are not manual, for instance, doing laundry in the laundry machine, putting things in the dryer, cooking, things like that, that's completely mutar, even for women that had this minhag not to do melachan Rosh Chodesh. The Chida brings down that there were some men in the times of the Rishonim that also uh, were noheg not to do melacha on Rosh Chodesh, that's even a higher level. He says, it's a nice thing to do, obviously if a person can dedicate his entire day on Rosh Chodesh to Torah and Tfilah, that's a wonderful thing, but again, it's certainly not melacha. If a person doesn't want to, he certainly may do halacha, and if a, if, a, if a man or woman was noheg not to do melacha on Rosh Chodesh, and they want out, they can certainly do hatar nadarim, and then go back to doing melacha as per Ikaradin, Yom Tov, and Chodesh Tov.